Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Lineage OS 16.0, which is the first ever Pi custom ROM for our Redmi Note 7 Pro, and yes, of course, Pi because this phone is launched with Pi. So, yeah, let's guys, without wasting more time, let's start. Okay, guys, so this is not the first build of this Lineage OS 16. Now, yesterday, I already made the Lineage OS 16 review, and I was about to upload it for today, like it was about to schedule for 10 April, and then at night a new build came so i just like deleted that video like okay but yeah i just flashed this build at night and now i can see i am running this 10 april build as you can see it has some of the new stuff which i will also tell you later the full change log but now let's uh, go inside the settings and into about phone into android 9 as you can see we have this android version 9 lineage os version 16.0 and you can see we get the 5 April 2019 security patch. Now the previous version had the 5 March. And you can see we get this Perf Plus with tag 4.14.81 which is a stock MIUI pre-built kernel. And also the source is open but the source kernel is like fucked up. Okay guys, first let's take a look at some of the Linux features and all the overall UI. As you can see this is a Pixel Launcher which is a trebuchet launcher which is a customization launcher. Now this is the AOSP launcher, maybe Lineage is customized it and you can see home screen settings, draw settings, icon settings, much of the needed settings are already there so there is no, like, no need of extra customization settings into the launcher. Now as you can see guys into the app drawer you can see we get all of the Lineage apps including the audio effects, also you can see we have this snap camera, also I have installed the google camera which works awesome like all of the features work. I'll just make a different video on that also and I will show you this guys also. As you can see this is a snap camera and we also get this uh, camera to API feature recently, a new UI and all of the uh, like extra features which are enabled by camera to API. So we get that too so the new interface looks really, really like nice not like the older normal snap camera. Now guys moving into the settings as you can see this is the Pi settings UI and of course you have watched all of the Lineage OS videos previously. So this is the Pi settings UI. Also these are the quick settings and these are the toggles available so we get some extra gray skill and toggles but we have reading mode already we have ambient display we have invert colors heads up volume panel and some also third party app uh, quick toggles if they support now we are also going to see this digital well-being so it's also pretty built and yeah in most of the gfs it's also there enabled so that's why into the battery as you can see this is the battery usage like if you have already watched a lot of videos on the lineage OS, you can already get this and you can see the battery last full charge screen on time and here we see the battery usage graph then getting down into the display as you can see we get this lineage OS live display which is also called as the night mode in other roms and it works perfectly you can see i'm using night settings and the yellowish overlay has been done also reading mode work guys so there is like no extra things also we have style in a OS style and you can choose dark also after choosing dark you can choose the dark mode so you can see this is how dark looks and after choosing black you will get this amulet like thing but this is our LCD display so it will obviously get a battery so in case just use dark mode or just light to like reduce battery usage then you also have the accent color and these are the accent available the user requested accents are not available as of now also guys we have this double tap to wake anywhere in the screen but it doesn't work as you can see so double tap to wake doesn't work now guys moving into the system tab here we get some of the options as you can see we get the status bar option all status bar related stuff status bar icons clock and brightness settings then we have buttons which is the hardware button cons customization lineage hardware stuff and we have buttons and layouts you can just change the layout if you want then we have guest shows and we have jump to camera and yeah it's a default like default enabled but i disabled it because i don't use it and we have a swipe up on home button and these are the lineage uh nav is just we get by default and you can just enable the swipe up on home button easily then we have developer options here we have advanced restart and also one more thing guys i have shown in every video smallest width to change your dpi and 420 420 suits really well also guys even if this is an unofficial lineage os we still get updater support sorry so here is the updater and as you can see 9 april build is available again so i don't know why it says again but yeah you can check the update after enabling so it again says me a 9 update, 9 april update is available and again you can see 10th april update so I guess lineage OS weeklies are available unofficially 
and guys this is an unofficial rom if you can take a look at it this is not official if you are like already on the telegram group you can already get it that it supports ots you can see lineage's version on official and it supports ota so that's really awesome and yep you can like easily update it through the updater uh, just by uh, like just going into the system and then you can download and install it directly if you have TRP recovery so that's really awesome also guys the lineage was feature which i missed is trust and you can see we have this like this is the lineage of trust like a privacy guard and all of the stuff privacy has been merged into one and you can see android uh, security patches now vendor a few months out of date and the platform update which is the security update by google is up to date but by the vendor like it is 5 august or like yeah 5 august update so yeah it's a bit old selenex is disabled encryption is also disabled so it will show this red now trust helps you to keep your device you can protect your privacy so that is just thing and you can see we have some privacy of like privacy guard and you can just enable privacy guard for all of these apps then we need statistics sms message limit and restrict usb it disable new usb gadgets when the device is locked so it's also a really awesome feature also guys if you're not happy with the stock snap camera with camera 2 api you can like easily install this google camera as you can see as camera 2 api is enabled google camera will work out of the box and you can see it takes nice pictures everything work guys everything and also i will be making a dedicated camera review of this with the normal miui camera and like with all the features and also google camera port comparison i will do so yeah that will be up soon on the channel so please subscribe okay now just moving to this video so if you are on the last build like the 6th april build the older build now i have this like new build we have a new build for you guys like this is not 6th april i guess 4 april or something build that's like very old build but if you are on this like old build now we have 9th april build with ota support for you guys and like what is the change log for it so the change log the first thing is april security patch so as you can see into the about phone uh, we have the latest april 2019 security patch and also in this build guys uh, fm radio has been added so you can see this one thing is there fm radio was not added then also one more thing the corners as you can see the rounded corners are adjusted so that it will look more good and more real normal than like the corners were a bit taller and uh, okay added OTA server that is the OTA update then we have okay also guys one more thing uh, in the first build uh, Airtel voltage was not working and now as you can see my mobile network is Airtel you can see voltage is working fine enhance 4G LTE mode and I can make a call easily as you can see I will just like show you guys you have dialed is invalid it like it is like dialing to something it means the network is like voltage is there so yeah and one more thing guys fix sound distortion for some cases so a sound distortion has been like it was created in the sound figure maybe has been fixed also manual network selection has been fixed and sim manager darkness has been fixed and a lot of more optimizations has been done on this uh, build so uh, yeah i would like surely uh, let you guys know that you should be on this build because this is purely stable also a really great build after the first build so yeah i can consider this as the first initial impression build because it's really stable and if you guys really like this video please already press the like button and now let's move to the installation which is the main part so for the installation oops oh shit okay so never mind you have to power off your device first after it powers off press the volume up and the power key now i'm assuming that you have unlocked your bootloader and installed tbrp recovery and if you haven't done that you can like just take this i button just press it go to that video just install the tbrp recovery and lock your bootloader first and then come here now you have to wipe this stuff you can see only this so just swipe to wipe getting back go to install now you have to first install the firmware if you haven't installed it then the oops then the lineage os open g apps and match disk if you need and just reboot after installation is complete and you can see it will start uh, flashing the firmware and everything by step guys it uh, just rebooted so let's say like i had the uh, reboot after installation is complete 
So Redmi by Xiaomi. Okay, let's see. Again one time. So it boot loops like a short boot loop, you can ask it. Not an infinite one. Just boot loops back to the boot loop and now you will see the boot animation. Yes, so guys, Lineage OS is booting and this is how to install Lineage OS on your Redmi Note 7 Pro. So if you guys have liked this video, press the like button. If not, then press the dislike button. Also, you have to comment down below if you have any type of feedback or queries. And for more such videos, please subscribe to this channel. Also, I'll be making a lot of videos on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, camera testing, gaming, everything. So please subscribe for that too. And see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.